Hello and welcome back. So, uh, so I chose uh, this quick set to pick out of uh, out of the package uh, that West Coast Picks sent me. Thank you again so much for the locks uh, and everything. Actually, uh, the slick picks and I didn't notice this uh, in the in the or show this in the package opening, which was uh, this contains pins. Uh, American pins, so I can repin that American if I want, as well as he also put um, a couple more uh, ends for his uh, for the slick picks. Uh, one was a Bogota, and this was the gem, perfectly shaped gem, uh, so that if I wanted to swap those out, I could. Uh, thank you again very much, West Coast Picks, for that. Ah, uh, jeez, I'm I'm just blown away. Ah, uh, but. Uh, the reason for this video is attempt number two on this, uh, on this quick set. Uh, it beat me out of the package. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's give it a shot here and, uh, we'll show you guys that the key does work very smoothly. Uh, has a little catch in the middle, but that's to be expected with the challenge lock. Um. Uh, I went for about seven more minutes after I cut that that other video, um, and uh, and uh, was not able to get anywhere, and felt like I ended up having to reset everything. So I just thought I'd just start another video for it, because uh, it was running way too long. So let's zoom in for you guys and see where we're at here. Um, what I figured out was that this thing has serrations in it, and if you use too heavy of tension, you get caught on those serrations, and it's game over. So, I am going with very light tension. Okay, I got a little bit out of two there. It feels like one is binding. Got him set. Kind of spoolish there. Whatever it is. And things are binding up in the back of that lock there. So I'm going to give that a shot. Maybe lighten up. I almost manually turn this here. And I dropped what I'd already said, I think. Heard some things drop. Okay, I think that was four. Two is binding. Okay. Went to a false set here, but I tried not to push too hard because I think that's what I did last time was I pushed real hard on it. And, uh, and I think it locked it up on me because now one is binding a little bit. Okay. Everything feels solid, so I'm guessing we're at a T-pin situation here, which is what <laughs> which is what we ran into last on the last couple locks. I picked up is so I'm gonna play the same game I play with T-pins every time. Is I'm gonna grab a deeper hook, and I'm going to bounce on pins. Um, well, actually, wait a second here. Yeah. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. Let's see if I can get something. A little dig in here. I think one is binding on me. And I'm afraid to set it for fear. Okay, hold on. Nope. Okay, there was one. Two. Three, four, five. I think Let me go back to that other pick real quick. I think one is binding on me. OK, 
Yeah, I think I may have got him set, but I lost my false set. Okay, got it back. Back to that deep hook. Back to the back. Search for that T-pin, because I am certain now we're playing with a T-pin. My way of dealing with T-pins is bouncing on pins a bit. Where are you hiding? This is kind of where I sat for the other video. Trying to figure out... Oh, I just got a click out of six. That was good. I think I just set him. Or five, probably. I'm sorry. Five. I think there's only five pins in this lock. I don't know why I said six. All the way in the back. How about that? I think I've got a T-pin situation here is what I was saying before because there it was it was one hiding way up there Jeez Louise all right great job West Coast picks <laughs> got me to fail out of the package and another what six minute video well seven I guess Depending on how much I talked before I started picking that thing. <laughs> My gosh. That was a great lock. Okay. Ah, those T-pins are effective. Anybody who's making challenging lo uh, challenge locks, remember that. <laughs> they work good. So let's get this out of the way. Let's get this out of the vice. Let's see what kind of magic you put inside of this quick set. <laughs> oh, all right. See what we got here. <clears throat> Alrighty. Pinning tree. Right. Tool for that. Take a easy little quick set and turn it into a monster by by putting T pins in it. Okay, let's be sure not to... I got a key, but I don't like locking them back up. It always just kind of feels like you lose something when you do that. All right. Get that out. Get that out. Spring out. Uh, spring doesn't want to come out. There, it came out. All right. Uh, T-pins, I'm shimming the lock because uh, that is definitely the way that acted. My guess is definitely a T-pin in one. <laughs> Something spoolish in two, because that was kind of what made me feel like I dropped stuff. All right, let's see if that's good enough to get a follower through. Um, that should work. Absorb me. Push fast. Oh, that's going to work. It's too tight. Okay, got a different follower. Let's try this one. There we go. Got it. Okay. Shim out of there. And what do we have in here? Oh, yeah. Crazy, crazy. Look at that. All right. Key pins are in and working. Really high cut pin on that first pin. That's Part of the uh, magic there of that lock. There we go. You can see the key pins are in and working. And also, let me show you so that we get a good view of this. Um, let me grab a tag here. Push these up a little bit so you can see. Maybe this will give you a good view. When I say reverse key pin, T pin, come on, focus. There we go. You can see that in number three, how it's a 
it's got that nub on top that is perfect for oversets so that's what causes that uh, but let's go ahead and dump these key pens one very tiny standard pen two very sharp serration pen three is that standard but it has a t-pin key pin four uh, another very sharp serrated key pin and five another very sharp serrated key pin in the in the uh, plug focus for me buddy come on focus i want to go over this really well here it's threaded in one, two, four, and five. Uh, come on, focus. You guys can see that. I want you guys to be able to see that. Man, I'll tell you what, my camera is sucking pretty bad. There you go. Now you can see the serrations are really good. Awesome. Um, I want to go over this lock really well because uh, you obviously spent a lot of time on it, West Coast Picks, and I want to make sure we spend enough time on it showing it off. In one, I imagine that. T-pin. Hold on here. And wow. Spool T-pin. What a heck of a pin there, bud. Jeez Louise. All right. In two... Uh, serrated. serrated, or is that a, another one of your pen and pens? That's another one of your pen and pens. Imagine that. Okay. And this one's kind of spoolish. Surprise there. Alright, and three was a standard. Which goes along with that overset trap there of the T pin, key pin. Okay, and then we got another pin and pin. Key pin, pin and pin serrated. And in five, we have another one of those awesome spool key T pins. My gosh, all T pins again. Uh, the springs look, well, hold on. Hold up the springs. Six. Five, I mean. Four doesn't want to come out. It's a copper spring. Copper spring. Uh, a double wound spring, I think, or just a really long one. And three. Oh, in three we had another pin. I'll be darned. Okay, that was weird. Two. And one. All right. All kinds of variations here, and definitely more. He did that for probably more pressure on the spring, I'm sure. Because that's such a small, tiny spring. Look at that real quick. Yeah, that's... I don't know if that's a double wound spring or not. Nope, that's... Yeah, that's two springs. That's what that is. That is a double wound spring. All right, he has two two springs wound together to create some extra tension on that one. Let's look it up in here, see what he did. All right. One, two, three, four, and five. They are all, well, hold on, no, three. Yeah, I think they're stuck. Grab a pick here and find out. No, three is not. But, yeah, the rest of them are. All right. Long video, but hell of a lock here. One, two, four, and five are all threaded, just like the, uh, just like the, um, 
or our core up in the Bible. So let's do a close up of these. And my goodness, this is a long video. All right. In one, we had a standard key pin and then a graduated uh, T pin spool pin. My gosh. Uh, and then a copper spring. In two, we had a very sharp serration on the key pin. And then a spool outer uh, on the pin and pin, and uh, obviously a pin and pin, uh, and then another copper spring. Um, and then on three, we had a T pin key pin standard, and then we had a, another standard with a wafer above it and a very short spring there. I'm sure that was to create more pressure on that spring. Uh, in four, we had a very heavily sharp serrated uh, key pin in the top we had another uh, serrated uh, T pin and a two springs wound together to create a lot of pressure on that um, and then in five we had a another sharp serrated uh, key pin with one serration and another one of those awesome spool graduated spools which is with with a T pin on it uh, just amazing, and then another copper, or, uh, yeah, another copper spring, or steel spring, I don't know, anyways, uh, it's definitely a little bit different, so I'll make sure I put them back in the same order that they came out, uh, amazing lock, uh, West Coast Picks, a, a great, great lock, thank you so much for the, uh, for the locks and the second package, and wow, man, I am spoiled, um, great pick. Uh, amazing job on those pens, man. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, don't break the law.